Ladies and gentlemen, I am Hypo and we are looking at the Templar. This is um, a High Elf Templar to be exact and is actually my main character. I like Templars and they are indeed fun to play. Now you've got Adric Spear, Dawn's Wrath and Restoring Light. Adric Spear um, focused on damage dealing. It's your damage dealing tree. Um, there's AoE attacks in here and there's crowd control as well. Um, moving on to Dawn's Wrath. Dawn's Wrath is um, more defensive in nature, blocking and reflecting enemy attacks. Um, they're useful, you know, throughout. I've got very little of them because I just like all out DPS. Um, then we'll finish up with Restoring Light. This is your, um, as the name suggests, restoring light, healing, restoring. Um, it's if you want to be a healer, this is you know the tree you will want to spend a lot of your time though. Um, but be warned, a couple of these will stop you from moving while casting them. So that's um, you know a little bit. Um, you know, you've got to remember that. So Templar is your typical healing class. Um, if you play like priests um, in World of Warcraft, then you've got Paragons in um, Guild Wars. This is probably going to be the class, you know, you want to play if you like your healing. Weapon selection, um, Restoration Staff, probably a good choice. Dual wield can be done, bow can be done, uh, mixed it up. Armor, you'll probably want to go for light armor over heavy and medium to try and keep your um, magicka up so you can cast more Adric spear. But then, you know, you could go medium armor and able to use more dual wield skills. Races for this, anything with decent magicka pulls, basically. Um, which is probably going to be High Elf Altmers, um, because they are the best um, at it. You've then got um, Bretons can be good. Um, choices as well. Um, Dunma, I'm going to throw that one in there because, like I said in one of my pr um, other videos, that you haven't got many choices in the Ebonheart Pact. So Dunma's going to be kind of your fallback for anything magicka based. Argonians people say are the best because of the first skill you get which is something along the lines of it's basically exactly the same as this skill destruction talent but instead of increases the experience gain with destruction staff it increases the experience gain with restoration staff. Pointless. It's no good whatsoever these skills are just absolute garbage but the Argonians um, receive more healing from healing spells well one thing to remember is that your healing spells will actually it says heals nearby wounded ally you are considered an ally and these are considered self heals so you will receive more healing from your own heals so that's worth definitely worth noting and argonians on a separate note can actually be f can be tanks because they will receive more healing and you can tank in the templar tree as well if you wish to um it's something that you know i'll go on a bit with the oddball uh, builds that you know you can make and mess about with so yeah your typical um mmo would consider the templar a um healing class paladin that kind of stuff uh, and that's about all you can really say about them uh what else yeah that's about it but yeah i will be doing videos on the dragon knight the knight blade and the sorcerer and then a final video for oddball builds so you know please do check them out and your class here will be um is you know templar and typical healing so hopefully you'll be choosing templar much like i have done i am enjoying it very much and 
Templars are just brilliant fun to play as. So, you know, jump in, play a little bit, and hopefully I'll see you around. And until next time, cheerio.